What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Jody Slay here, bringing you another custom zombie game. Uh, I don't really remember what the name of this map is called. Look in the description for a link to it and what the name will be. I'll have it up in the title probably. Uh, you can see here I get smoked at round one. I didn't know there was going to be some goddamn guy shooting at me. Uh, but I figured I'd throw that in there just because this is the first time I ever played it. I didn't know anything other than um, <clears throat> that there was a viable ending. A guy on Twitter actually uh, tweeted me and told me to try this. I was looking for a map one night that had a viable ending with a PPSH. No, this is not a live commentary, as you probably already could tell. Um, <clears throat> but he linked me this and told me to try it, and he said it was really hard. This is the first time I ever tried it. Um, and it was really a cool map. You know, right here at the beginning, I had these two guys shooting at me. And at, at first, I was kind of like, what the French toast? But then, you know, I got the hang of it right here. I actually fell as well. I don't die, but I use all my ammo up. And that guy up there with the gun is actually considered a zombie. So I had to kill him, but I had no ammo, no g nades, So I had to do something. And unfortunately, I just had to restart it. I don't know if he would have died off or not. But I, I assure you, third time is a charm. And we get it going after this time right here. <clears throat> not really sure whether a grenade didn't kill him right there either kind of like what but you know whatever uh, but I have a I have a pretty sick announcement I ordered my PC my custom PC um, so this is the last PC gameplay you're gonna see with the Shasty quality guys I promise you guys um, you know I've been saying for a while I'm gonna order it and I finally ordered it and expect some 1080p custom zombies I'm not even kidding I'm gonna upload it I'm gonna do my best to bring the best quality there is and it's time to play these epic maps and get these going instead of these easy ones you know with hardly any detail I could start rocking out with my cock out to some of these maps that my laptop just shat on you know I try to play them and my laptop would pop up in error and be like what the French toast are you thinking seriously I can screen print it if you want me to um, <clears throat> But, you know, Can't if you paid attention to any of my custom zombie it. maps, you know I usually like the ones. I prefer the ones with the Bible ending. I wish they would actually put this into, like, uh, Triarch games themselves, like on the Xbox and the uh, PS3. It really adds a new uh, chapter to zombies. You know, instead of just playing for days or until you just finally die, there's actually a goal in mind, you know, and that it's usually getting up to a certain amount of points, and then you just buy the ending and it's game over, you won. Um... You also have the option to play for days if you want. So I really think Chirac needs to start using Bible endings uh, on the Xbox, well, on consoles. <clears throat> because it's just really fun to play and, you know, you have that goal in mind. And then you actually feel accomplished when you're done. You know, four-player co-op is cool, getting around 30s and stuff like that. But it's really awesome knowing that you... You won, I guess. You know, Chirac can sit there on their zombie pedal at COD XP and say, well, how do you know there's no Bible ending? And how do you know you've not beat the dude? We know. I've been around 151. CJ's been around 126 on Kino. People's been around 90s on 5. Every single map, people have been to just insanely high rounds. <clears throat> there's no ending. I don't care what they try to say at COD XP. They're just leading you on like they've done the whole time. So this, they really need to start using Bible endings, I think. And it's just, like, I think it's pretty awesome. You know, here lately you've seen uh, Jeff, that guy who camps, he uh, had that little video that he posted, and I think he's just, like, trying to get Charge's attention by it to where, like, on the World of War maps, they want to add all the perks to it but keep the old maps. And I think that's a way to keep zombies fresh, keep it going, is you just, you know, change it up a little bit. I talked about it in one of my last commentaries, so I won't go into detail. But they really need to start using some of the ideas from these COD zombies or, you know, custom zombies. And if they have to go to the indie game route, like I mentioned in my last commentary, by all means, I know I would buy almost every single... I There's no there's no doubt. I would buy every zombie map that went to the indie games. I'm, that's just easy. That's easy money for them, in my opinion. I would buy every single zombie map. Because then you can play custom zombies on the console. And what better way to do it than indie games? You don't even need a copy of, like, a version of the game. You know, just make a... <coughs> that one map is the only thing you can download. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's harder than what I think it is. And I'm sure it is. But I think um, custom zombies is definitely... Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely pretty awesome for you guys that don't have a PC you know you'd be surprised your PC does not have to be a mega machine to run these my laptop you know right here you could be like dude Yodi it looks fine man it I'm just like I'm like minor OCD when I watch some of these guys in 1080p and I see that all this that you once you see the high quality and then you look at mine you're like dude 
and I, I just want to have the high quality for you guys. I want the highest quality. I don't care if it takes 10 hours to upload, 10 hours to render. I want the. I just want the high quality. That's my standard. So, you know. But what I was saying about the PCs, you know, my laptop right now, my graphics card is the worst graphics card out. It's video HD graphics, and that literally is the worst graphics card out. Now, my processor and everything is <clears throat> really super good, so that kind of makes up for the lack of a bad video card, but you do not need a mega computer to run these maps. Um, so don't be afraid to maybe buy it and, you know, just check it out and see. There is a website out there, I'm not sure what it is, where you can actually test your PC to see if it'll run certain games. When I went to it, I sat there for an hour and it never told me yay or nay. So I'm pretty sure it was probably as dumbfounded. It was probably like one of those things where it's like, dude, is this guy seriously wanting to fucking play this game on this laptop or to watch? Um, but, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. I've been sick, guys, for the last few, get, few days. I haven't really done anything. Um, you know, so if you hear me clearing my throat, I'm sorry. I did get my little boys tonight. Uh, they are sick as well. It's just that time of the year around Indiana where it's still kind of, get, it gets warm one day, cold the next day, and it doesn't make up its mind. Uh, so, but since I got them, I may do a live com with them. I know they want to do it, and I know you guys want to see it as much as they want to. Uh, so we definitely might try to do that. I might bring in, I actually may try to uh, system link but our, both of our Xboxes, and then, you know, bring, in, bring one TV in here and hook it up next to ours, and then play split screen on one TV, and then, you know, like Matthew on the other TV as the third player. <clears throat> that way I could hook my snowball up, just set it in the middle, and we could just go to town on it. I think it sounds pretty cool, and I know you guys would enjoy it. They get they get really into zombies, you know, they get scared, they start screaming. They get a little overexcited, but hey, it's all good. But as you can see right here, I'm just opening up doors. <coughs> trying to figure out where to go. It said something like, be careful opening this door. So I'm like, oh, damn, maybe I shouldn't open that door. I expected, like, I don't know, something like a trap or something. But I think I actually go back, and I try my luck, and I back off of it. Nothing happened, so I was lucky there. But, you know, this is just trial and error. Like I said, it is the first time I ever played this. So later on in this, you will see me kind of, you know, venture around and kind of look around and stuff like that and find everything on its own. I did uh, make it pretty far into this for the first try. I'm not going to say if I beat it or if I didn't. Uh, you guys just have to pay attention to that. It does get super epic, though. It, like, goes down into the tunnels. I don't know how far we are going to get in this, but this is, like, one of those maps where it was seriously, like, mapped way different than any of the other zombies. You know, like, some of the custom zombie maps, you could, they're just, like, added... Basically, all they did really is just uh, very little change. And what I mean by that, they just basically changed the map around. Everything else stays the same. But this is one map where they were, they actually designed a, a huge, huge map with a Bible ending Easter egg. And it's just, it's pretty, it was really fun. I enjoyed playing this. I uh, really wanted to save this until I got my new PC because I was going to order it. This coming Monday, which is in three days from now, I was going to order anyways, uh, but I ended up getting my first machinima check, so I used a little bit of that to order it a little bit prematurely, So, and that was all for you guys, dude. I owe everything to you guys, and I bought this PC, yes, for my enjoyment, but it's also to bring you some of the best custom zombies you're ever going to see. Like I said, it's going to be in 1080p. And it's going to be epic. All these maps that people say that you can't beat, I'm going to make it a mission to beat it. Because I ain't going to have any more frame, day, frame rate for days now, dudes. I'm going to be getting her done. And I'm going to be posting. I don't even care about Modern Warfare 3 right now. I just want this freaking order to process so this PC gets on its way so I can do this. Because there's some maps out there where <clears throat> I actually did get to see a little bit of the map before it dropped to like 1 and 2 frames per second. And I have a feeling it's going to be pretty epic. Um, but you know, so stay tuned for that for shiz. But right here is just me fucking around with this guy. I'm just gonna leave him go look around again. I think I find the MP40 right now, and we get it on like Donkey Kong. And I was feeling a little worried at only having the Gewehr and the M14 or the M1A1. Um, and I wasn't really seeing any other guns on the map. And I run up here and I see the M40, and right away, you know, I'm gonna buy that. At least I think I do. I'm pretty sure I did. <clears throat> but. You know, it's a Duris mod, so it does have the teleporters, and yeah, you can see there, I'm like, oh, snap, thank Jeebus, thank you, Jeebus, because I'm not kidding, my butt was starting to pucker, and I was getting nervous, I was like, sweating, and 
it was ugly, and I'm sure it stunk, but <clears throat> it's all good. I stink pretty much all the all the time. Like it's weird. I just have a foul smell. It smells like a mixture of rotten eggs and cow manure. I'm just kidding. I really don't smell like that. I hope not. I mean. What if I did? What if I was joking like that and then, like, before they heard, like, one of my friends, before they heard me say I was joking, they're like, yeah, buddy, you sure do. Wait, wait, hold up. No, you don't. I was just, you know, well, that'd be, a, that'd be like, one of those awkward moments where your buddy's like, dude, and you're like, what the French toast, bro? You really think I smell like rotten eggs and cow manure, bitch? You ought to smell your own goddamn breath, son. But it's all good. But, uh... Yeah, dude, I'm so excited for this PC. I'm I, sorry, I stumbled. I lost track of words because, I, I, you know, when I go back and listen to my commentaries and I listen to what I say, I'm like, who in the fuck thinks of this stuff, dude? For shiz, who thinks of this stuff? Yep, <clears throat> that'd be me over here. This guy, yeah, uh, yes, and I was pointing to me for some reason. Oh, bejeebus, bejeebus, bejeebus. But anyways, it's all good. This map was great. It did have a Bible ending, so it made it better. did have a uh, PPSH on the wall as well, but I um, did not find that till right as I was buying the ending for my loss. Like, <clears throat> he said it had one, and I look around for it, and I started, I really started to believe that it didn't. And then uh, right as I go to buy the Bible ending, there she be, right on the wall, staring at me, laughing at me, and... Rubbing it in like a cocksucker. But it's all good. The PPSH is a brilliant gun. Somebody tweeted me one time. They were like, the PPSH equals pretty... Uh, what did it say? I don't remember what it said, but it was basically him saying the PPSH is bad. And, dude, how can you say the PPSH is bad? It literally is the best zombie gun ever. Other than, you know, like, the Wonder Weapons. The PPSH is just a mini monster. Like, mini monster. It's like, <clears throat> dude, no other guns stand a chance. Especially when you get it upgraded and get 700 reserve ammo. Dude, it's just like, oh my god, it's a pocket browning. That's what we should start calling it. <laughs> a pocket browning. Sorry, the fucking people below me smoke. And for some reason, I'm starting to smell their smoke. And it's... It's clearing my nose, but I hate the fucking smell of smoke, dude. Like, god damn. Like, I used to work at this... My last job, I worked with this chick. and I mean, like, an old chick. She was an old woman, and she would go on smoke breaks and stuff. And when she would come back, you know... It was a factory, so it was really loud in there. And you had to pretty much get, like, really up close to hear people. And uh, she would come back from a break and then come up to me and be like, Hey, you could go to break now. Sounded like a dude because she smoked her whole life. And her breath would smell so bad. Like, and I'm not even, dude, smoking is just so disgusting, dude. For shiz, her breath would smell so bad. I, know I've, I have friends that smoke and I've never really noticed that breath. But they usually have gum or something, you know, the... Like, they care about it. Like, she didn't. Her breath would smell so bad, dude. It would gag a maggot. And I'm not even joking. I seen a maggot dry heaving because of her breath. Uh, not really. But, you know, hey, it was just horrible. And if you guys smoke, I'm not talking shit about you. I mean, more power to you. You got to do what you got to do. It's just the, by golly, bejeebus, I can't do it, man. It's just the, the smell and... Damn, I do chew, though, and a lot of people are probably like, dude, why are you talking shit about smoking when you chew? That shit's fucking nasty. It's because I always have to have something in my mouth, and I know there's going to be some dude out there that's like, yeah, you got a dick in your mouth because you're cool like that. Uh, but no, I just always got, I'm always chewing on something, whether it's like a piece of plastic, chewing gum, or something. I've always got something in my mouth, so I started chewing and basically just to fun with it. And, like, I don't have an addiction to it. Like, I, I can go weeks without ha having a can of chew. And then all of a sudden, I'll just crave it and go buy a can of chew, and it's gone in, like, a day. So, it's like that. I got my tongue pierced when I was in high school because of the same reason I liked. And I liked messing with it, and my girlfriend liked it. <coughs> if you guys know what I mean. I'm sure you do. My little boy just fell off the couch. By the way, just throw that out there. I don't know what he's doing. He's looking at me like, what the hell did you do to me? But anyways, guys, that was the dog roundup. This is uh, round six. We are coming to a close of episode one. Stay tuned for the next episode where I do go down underground into those barriers, start linking these teleporters and all that good stuff. Sorry to ramble on. I just needed to get something out there. As usual, remember to rate and subscribe. You don't need to know. <sighs>